father. Hello, Hillary. He was just leaving. Excuse me. Yes? When? All right. All right, all right. Now, is Dr. Warnock on call? Well, find him and tell him to meet me there, Stat. I'm on my way. Fill her in. I'll talk to you later. taken care of. Let's go back to bed. How long was I out? Adam, you look terrible. I'm fine. I'm all right. What happened to my desk? What happened to you? Nothing. Joanna, I'm asking you a question. Give me an answer. Really? It was nothing at all. I'll, I'll talk about it later. Come on, let me help you back upstairs. Stop fussing over me. I had a simple migraine, that's all. Adam? That'll be all, Joanna. I said, get out. Are you all right? Where have you been? I've been just driving around. I've, I've been thinking. Thinking. Adam, I need to talk to you. What a coincidence. Because I very badly need to talk to you. They found her car at the airport. At least we know she wasn't. I know. I was worried that she was going to be out wandering around somewhere lost. So was I. She was in pretty bad shape. If only she'd get in touch with us. I guess she will when she's ready. M maybe you're right about that health spa. Oh, let me get that number. Oh, no, you can't. Why not? Because this is Chuck's office and he would not want you to call long distance without his permission. And you know he doesn't want your help. Well, I don't care. I'm a husband. But that's not the way Chuck sees it. Oh, you're right. He hates me. You probably do, too. No, I, I don't hate you. I'm, I'm just very disappointed in you. Of course you are. I don't blame you. And it's not just you. It just, it seems like since my mother has died, I haven't been able to trust anyone. Hilary, dear, you, you, you mustn't blame Phoebe for leaving. I don't. I, I understand why she left. She thinks of you as a daughter, and as for what's happening to her now, it's all my fault. Oh, I wish I could go back and change everything, starting with, starting with you and your mother. I would do things so very differently. I wonder how many people have said that about their lives. A great many, I dare say. Take care that you don't count yourself among our number. Funny. What? What you just said. Sounds like something a father would say. It does. Well, you should know. Didn't your father ever give you advice? None that I ever took, thank heaven. At least you had one. And you didn't. I'm sorry. So am I. Do you think it's too late? For what? Do you think it's too late for me to be your father? I don't know. Maybe not. We're family. We need each other. questions. Is the game he was playing? I can believe that. I believe it easily. He wouldn't talk about anything for real. It's, it's not the first time he's acted strangely. Before. Yeah, well, it's the first time I've had to deal with it. I'm telling you, that man is sick. Yes, I, I understand that. Look, I want you to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Nobody is taking me seriously. I am taking you seriously, okay? Even you do not know what I am saying. Adam knows that Erica and Tom slept together. He is furious. He is talking about threats, about how they're going to pay for it. Okay, okay. So what is it that you want to do about it? Well, she's your sister. Don't you think somebody ought to warn her? I will. I'll take care of it, okay? 
What I want you to do right now is a little breathing. I want you to calm down. I'm fine. You are not fine. You are pregnant. Getting excited like this is not good for you. And Tom doesn't believe me either. I mean, he, he, he swaggers out of his office. He thinks it's of no great concern of his. Tom is a big boy. He can take care of himself. Yeah? Against a lunatic? Excuse me. Brooke Cudahy. Uh, Brooke, uh, this is George. Uh, I know you're worried about Tom, so I thought I should call you. What's wrong? Well, I just got a call from Sidney Keyes, his accountant. Tom had an appointment a half an hour ago. Never showed up. You wanted to talk to me about something? Sit down. What's wrong? Erica. <clears throat> How many months have we been married? Adam, why are you... How many months? Four. Four. Good. And in all that time, how many things have I asked of you? How many, Eric? Only a few. Then two is the answer. For all my love and largesse, I've asked two things of you. Do you happen to recall what they are? I really wish no, you No, of course, you, you don't remember. Well, I'll remind you. One was love. Do you remember the other one? Adam, you're scaring me. Loyalty. Which means fidelity. Adam, I have been faithful to you. I swear I have. You're lying to me. You slept with your ex-husband. My, my ex-husband? Tom, Tom Cudahy, Mr. Tom Cudahy, the famous quarterback. I didn't. I absolutely didn't, I swear to you. I promised I'd be faithful to you, and I have been. On the night before you married me, you slept with another man. Don't, don't even bother trying to deny it, Erica, because I know it's true. What difference does that make? Well, I can explain. Please do. Well, it isn't what it seems. You slept with another man, Erica. By accident. And to make it worse, you kept it from me. No, I didn't. I tried to tell you about it. I tried to tell you about it right before the wedding ceremony. Don't you remember? Up in the room with all the paintings. What are you talking about? What room? What... what... What painting? You don't remember? You were so sensitive. You were so understanding. You told me that you loved me no matter what. Adam, it didn't mean anything. I swear to you. It didn't. Listen, before you go on, before you say one more word, I want you to understand something. I don't tolerate this kind of behavior from my wife or from the man who slept with her. Emergency room. Code 13. Emergency room. Oh, no. Tomorrow on The Love Report, how to look sexier in summer swimwear. And everything you want to know about men's most intimate feelings about women. Plus, this week on The Love Report... I've always wanted to do great things and achieve many things. An intimate look at the thriller of our time, Michael Jackson. And on Ryan's Hope, Delia's surprise is revealed. She's married, but there's another man in her life. You know how I feel about you. You feel it too. The Love Report and Ryan's Hope. Two ways to brighten your day on ABC. Weekdays.